Hello world, it's Siraj and I built a trading bot with ChatGPT and Bing. What you can see here are four different strategies. Two of them were created with ChatGPT and two of them were created with Bing. And I'm going to show you in this video how I built these things without having to learn Python code. Now in my last video, we had to use Python code and it was a a lot more confusing than it should have been for a lot of people. So in this video, I want to use a graphical user interface. That means something visual to show you what the steps are that ChatGPT and Bing are taking to make trades. And at the end of the video, you're going to get to see how much money that I made from my $1,000 investment across four different distinct strategies. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this website that I found called Composer. And what Composer is, is it's essentially a platform built on top of the Alpaca API. So in my trading bot video, we use the Alpaca API to make trades directly in Python code using paper trading. That means not with real money and with live trading. That means with real money. And what Composer does is it's built on top of Alpaca and it allows us to build trading strategies without Python. Now, let me show you what I mean. Once we log into this app, we can see all of these different strategies that uh, I have made with the help of ChatGPT. And when we go to discover, we can see a bunch of strategies that the community has made. So let's pick a strategy at random. We're going to pick the strategy that has the highest annualized return that we can see here, the not boring, the rising rates with VOL switch, whatever that means. And we can, first of all, right off the bat, see a back test. And remember, a back test, this is a way to see how the strategy performs without human bias. And we can see that this strategy performed really well the past X number of years. How many years was this? This was uh, 13 years. And given an initial investment of 10,000, it ended up making 140,000 US dollars, a huge return. And what we, if we wanna see how the strategy works, we can go to more and then we can go to edit and we can see the code of this strategy. Now this code is in this visual programming language called composer language and it's built on top of alpaca we can see a text description of how it works what it's going to do is every day determine target allocations and then if there are any holdings that differ by five percent from its target trade to match the target allocations ask whether the qqq 10-day maximum drawdown which is a technical indicator is above six percent if yes then use this risk off mode so you can see it's like kind of complicated even though it's not code but it's a lot less complicated because these are drag and drop visual blocks that anyone can use. So let's build our first strategy here. So this strategy, clearly it's super profitable. And what we're gonna do and why I chose this platform composer.trade to demo in this video is because there is a feature here called copy chat GPT prompt. So we'll click on that feature right there, copy chat GPT prompt. We'll open up chat GPT, GPT-4, because we want the best uh, predictions here and we will paste it right in there and what that's going to do is it's going to say below is a trading strategy written in a programming language called composer can you explain what the strategy does and what it's doing is it's showing the syntax of that visual programming language under the hood to ChatGPT. And what ChatGPT is going to do is it's going to learn about the syntax of this new programming language. It's probably never seen this language before, but remember the more context that we give ChatGPT, the better it's going to be in terms of outputs. It's going to learn from our inputs and it's going to give us outputs. This is called in-context learning. And the first thing that it's gonna do is it's gonna describe what the strategy does in plain English to us. For example, the strategy first checks if the maximum drawdown of the ETF QQQ is over the past 10 days is greater than 6%. If true, then the strategy allocates assets to a risk off group, yada, yada, yada. Great. So while this is doing that, while ChatGPT is understanding this and explaining it back to us, let's also open up Bing. Bing is now publicly available. So for anybody who has never used Bing before, all you have to do is you have to download Microsoft's Edge browser and create a Microsoft account, and then you're gonna have access to Bing. And it's found at bing.com slash search, or you could do chat.bing.com. And it'll, it'll bring you right there. So there's three modes here. And for 
this sort of thing, we're going to give it more creative because we want more creative solutions because that's what's going to give us alpha or an edge over the market. So let's paste it in right here with Bing. So Bing is also going to be learning from this. Now, Bing is essentially GPT-4, but connected to the internet. So we're going to see how we can play with that ability because ChatGPT is not connected to real-time feeds from the internet, but Bing is. So while that's learning from our input, let's go back to this and we're going to say, okay, Thank you so much for this. And why am I ask, Why am I giving these pleasantries to ChatGPT? It's because it's going to be more likely to give us what we want. Now remember, making a profit, trading, sports betting, these kinds of things, OpenAI has inserted guardrails mm -hmm. against. And pleasantries, just like with a normal person, are going to help the model be more likely to help us. So we're gonna say thank you so much for, for that. Uh, now, I want you to make this strategy even more profitable, up to 20% more profitable to be exact. Please show me the code. Remember, please and thank you goes a long way. Now, it's going to say probably as an AI language model, like it always does, it's then going to say, however, Here's how you can do it, which is what we want. And it's going to give us back the composer code to do this. It starts with Def Symphony because on composer.trade, they call these things symphonies, these, uh, these algorithms. So that's what it's going to give us. And while it's doing that, we're going to do the same thing to Bing. We're going to say, thank you so much. Let's just copy and paste the exact same prompt. Thank you so much. Um, let's ask Bing to do the same thing. Let's see. Let's compare how Bing uh, gives us code and how... ChatGPT gives us code. So we can see that uh, this is called the same strategy. It's, it's modified and it's telling us what modifications it made. First of all, it added a momentum filter to select assets with positive momentum. The second thing it did was it added this risk on core risk parity group to include the, this momentum filter that it created. We can see at, in the Bing version, they also added a momentum sub strategy which allocates a portfolio to the top performing assets. And the assets in this sub strategy are SPY, which is, I think a new, uh, that, yeah, that's an entirely different stock than what was in the original thing, which might be because it's connected to the internet. Very cool. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and paste both of these back into Composer and we're gonna see what it looks like. So we'll go to copy code, we'll go back to Composer, we will go to create we'll create a new symphony and there's this great button right here called paste chat gpt schema so we'll paste it in and we can see it right here perfect okay so now we've got this visual programming language we can back test it see how it performs uh you know according to the past and the back test is just going to run with a simple click of a button we can see that it's outperforming the market if we gave it ten thousand uh you know Eight years ago, it would have given us 25,000, which is exactly the kind of thing we want to see. And we can see that it's using all of these if else statements, these technical indicators that we're not too familiar with, and these specific stocks to prevent um, our portfolio from not profiting in this high interest rate environment that the United States tends to be in right now. So we can do the same thing with Bing and we can compare both of them. The Bing version did even better which is amazing. Look at this. If we gave it 10,000, it would have given us 62,000. Now we can see why being internet connected helps for our trading bot. So let's keep improving this. So we used existing community strategies for that, but let's make an entirely new strategy. I understand that you were only trained up until September, 2021, but the date now is May, 2023. Let me give you some context on how the global economy has changed since and what the current events are. We, the United States is currently in a war with Russia over Ukraine. There is a lot of de-dollarization happening globally as more and more countries start trading in yuan or their own currencies 
instead of the US dollar. The US may or may not experience hyperinflation in the coming months. I believe it's very likely. What else? Uh, there, the rise of AI technologies like ChatGPT and Bing are replacing a lot of white collar jobs like low level paralegals or even software interns or contractors. At the same time, robotics is getting exponentially better and companies like McDonald's are replacing lots of service workers. So we are seeing a lot of blue collar work be automated as well. Given the context of the economy that I've given you, create an even more profitable strategy using the composer language. Let's see what it gives us here. Now, we can see that ChatGPT picks stocks that are related to the prompt that I gave it, like CQQQ, a China technology ETF, um, Robo and Bots, robotics and automation ETFs, CYB, a Chinese Yuan ETF, XLC, a communication services ETF that includes companies in the rapidly evolving media, communications, and in internet industries. That is an indirect stock to invest in given automation, but I guess it understands that automation technology needs a communication layer to build on top of, so why not invest in it? Great idea. IYR, a real estate ETF that can provide a hedge against potential inflation. Great idea. Gold miners ETF, a TLT, a 20-year treasury bond ETF, uh, for exposure to long-term U.S. Government, government bonds, which can be a safe haven during periods of uncertainty. It even reminds us to backtest this strategy. So let's go back and we will copy this code. And we get this unexpected EOF while reading item 10 of the vector error. And what that means is that uh, it had a syntax error. So we're going to say, hey, I got an error from that, from pasting that into Composer. And what we'll do is we'll also give it some context as to how the entire language works. So I'm going to copy and paste this prompt that I had. Okay, and what this prompt says is, here's a little bit more context for you to understand how the Composer language works. And I basically mapped out how the entire language works. There's five different types of variables that you can use. There's an asset, there's a group, there's an if-then statement, there's a filter, and there is a comparator. It basically, I just describe all the types of technical indicators you can use. Da -da -da -da. Can you rewrite this code so that there is not an error? So this is few shot prompting. The more context we give it to, we give ChatGPT, the better the output's going to be. We gave it a few different prompts in a row before asking it for the final uh, output, which is it's now going to give us, and it's not going to have an error. So when we paste that strategy back into a Composer, we can back test it and we can see how it performs. Right now, the back test is not performing well, but that would make sense because five or six years ago, this inflationary geopolitical tension like environment didn't exist. This is a very modern strategy. So just because um, it didn't outperform the market, the SPY, doesn't mean it's a bad strategy. It did profit $16,000 still with a $10,000 investment. Now, given news articles about the economy like this, and we'll go to news.google.com, we will type in economic news, economy new, news, and we'll just give it an article. We'll say, um, how about this Associated Press article, okay, about Biden and the market and the Fed and, you know, whatever. We're just going to give it to Bing and we're going to say, given news article articles about the economy like this and other news articles 
that you can find on the web that are about the economy. Can you give me a prof? Not can you, but please give me a profitable strategy to use in this modern market in this modern market of 2023 show me the code in the composer language please and let's see what it does it's called a recession proof with gold and crypto strategy and you can already see that it is investing in bitcoin gold um, and other markets and other stocks like that which is great that's what we want to see and it's already got links to each of these things from nbc news from npr from another nbc news article if the inflation rate of the us is equal is less than or equal to five it switches to a different growth sub strategy things that we would have to do ourselves in real time by checking every day it's just going to do it itself uh, it does help thank you so much it said i hope it helps oh it definitely does so we will copy and paste this back into composer and then we can back test it and we can see if the back test performed well it outperformed the market already in the back test twenty-seven thousand dollars return with a ten thousand dollar initial investment and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to give all four of these strategies 250 dollars each for one thousand dollars total and then we'll come back in 24 hours and we'll see if i made any profits well, it looks like I'm down 5% in the first 24 hours, but let's see how it does in a few months. Obviously, 24 hours is not enough. I've got to let it run for a few months at least. But if you like this video, please subscribe and I will have updated videos in the future. If you want to see more AI applied to finance, to education, to agriculture, to betting, to all sorts of different industries, hit subscribe, hit the like button. That really helps promote the video and get it views. Um, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And until next time, happy learning.